Our situation this time is that we're building a simple personal to-do app that needs a field that can point to any record in any table. And as you probably already know, a reference field can point to any record in a specified table, like the assigned to field on any task, references records from sysuser, but it can't point to another task, for example. Well, did you know there's a field type that can reference any record in any table on the system? It's called a document ID field. Let's take a look. Here's our to-do app. To add a document ID field, we'll go to the form menu and select configure form layout. There are other ways to do this. Configure form design, not being one of them for some reason. Anyway, we're going down here where it says create new field. We're going to add a new field called document and use the type document ID. We'll click add, place it on the form layout near the parent field, and save. There, let's have a look. There's our document ID field, and when we click it, it prompts for a table and a document. And as you can see, the table dropdown doesn't work. We'll need to also create a table field because the document ID field is actually two fields, just like you see in the modal, a table and a document. Let's click cancel and fix that. Back to configure form layout, we'll add another field called document table and select the type table name. Add it to the form and save. There it is at the bottom of the screen, on purpose to demonstrate something. First, we need to do one more thing. We need to make the document field dependent on the table. We'll right click on the document field label and choose configure dictionary. In the dictionary entry, click the related link advanced view. Under the dependent field tab, we'll click use dependent field and select the document table from the list. One more update, and let's retest our document field. Voila! We can select any table and any record from that table. And when we click OK, look how it's displayed in the field. We see the table and the record display value. And if you've got a keen eye, you've probably noticed that the table field at the bottom of the form has done nothing so far until we save, at which point it takes the value we specified. To avoid confusion, let's remove the table field from the form. It really doesn't impact the functionality of the document ID field at all. And when we use the form menu to show the XML, we can see the value of the document field is a sysid, and the document table is the name of the table containing that record. Now let's say we're writing a script and we want to get access to that document. The first two lines of the script simply get our to-do record. Line four creates a glide record object based on the value of the document table field, and the document field value is the record sysid to fetch in the next line. The output validates we've got a record from the table. Another way to do it with fewer steps is to use the getRefRecord method, which recognizes the table field dependency and fetches the document glide record. Pretty neat. So now you know how to reference and work with any record from any table using a document ID field. That's all for this time. And don't forget, if you've got a tip about the platform, an app, or capability, share it with the world, and don't forget to use the hashtag ServiceNowDYK to be part of the community. I'll be back soon with another ServiceNowDYK. Thanks for watching.